smack dab in the middle of the week. It's already February 6th. Morning, I'm Robin Mead. All right, if you missed it, here you go. Officer who killed a man mistakenly in a mall Thanksgiving night will not face charges. Obviously, that's upsetting to the family of E.J. Bradford. On a mountain trail, was able to take down a mountain lion that attacked him? Well, wildlife officials... Political commentator Van Jones called the president's speech psychotically incoherent, criticizing him for saying warm and kind things like you just saw there, while at the same time demonizing immigrants. I see you're up early in your jammies. Dear me, one of your um, Flint, Michigan fellow viewers tweeted, this is when, when you do have time, because you never have enough time in the mornings, let us know. We just feel like you're part of the family. So when you hashtag it, do my morning express so we can find you and put your pretty face on the TV, as I like to say. <laughs> it is perfectly on the dot, 30 minutes past the hour. All right, on a Wednesday, I'm Robin Me. One of the memorable moments from the President's Big State of the Union last night was when he recognized a 10-year-old cancer survivor named Grace. I'm trying to remember, I know somebody who had to get their house fogged for bed bugs after their college student went on, like, a, a charity trip um, to, to work. So it can happen to anybody. And anyway, during the State of the Union speech last night, the president touted the economy. Um, but he also stretched the truth at some points. If you look at the numbers, Jen did. And did it really need to? I mean, the economy's been doing so well. And he, for the president, rightfully leaned hard into that strength, talked it up a lot. A hundred straight months now of job growth, unemployment at its lowest in decades. But you know the president, he likes to throw in some superlatives. Superlatives are, I think of them as words ending in est. The best, the strongest, the smartest. Alrighty, 15 minutes past the hour. We always do a salute to the troops for years, decades now. Decades. Um, it is today for Private First Class to Marco Britton from his mom, Courtney, and Terry feel the same darn way. All you have to do, it's very simple, we'll hold your hand, you can reach out at Robin Mead on Twitter. If you prefer to Facebook, Facebook me or Facebook the show and we'll get that ball rolling. It's the least we can do. But now, um, Jen's look yeah. at the business side of things um, about what type of injuries we've commonly heard about or not. Yeah, and just, you know, what does that mean if you or somebody you know uses these? Uh, you know, we want to, of course, we'll be looking for that. Back to you. All right, Major League Baseball is working on some rules, all right. They're discussing how do we yeah. make the game faster? Yeah, and that's kind of like what we all Finally! The biggest <laughs> complaint about baseball yeah. over, what, the last few decades is games take too long. It's, yeah. They just drag out so long. Well, MLB Commissioner... They're throwing heat. They're 90 miles an hour. Yeah, it, it would be interesting to see how this would affect injuries. Yeah. If they mm -hmm. Where's Dr. Gupta when we need him? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, again, these are you know, the batter minimum. Because that would be big. Because sometimes a pitcher will come in, walks the first batter, then they go take him out and get another pitcher. And it's just 20 minutes just to get through two batters. Yeah. Austin wins at everything. I guess we just have to get used to it at this point. Sure do. As a, uh, as a Yankee fan, enjoy it while it lasts, you guys. It's lasted a while, <laughs> As a Browns, he put that. Just unpack. Unpack. Great. Right. Stay a while. <laughs> no stigma attached, no guilt. Just unpack. Right, let it go. So, a performance art piece featuring an Ivanka Trump lookalike is drawing reaction from the president's daughter herself.